So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our Part 103 course. So we go into our Aviation e-learning, and we go down. We can see that these are also FAA Wings approved. We've got our featured courses. These are our Learn to Fly courses. And then we go down to our 103 Ultralight Regulations and Airspace Revealed. We've got a whole bunch of other courses here on Learning to Fly. Again, this is your Ultralight Regulations and Airspace. We're going to go in here. We're going to go into the course. And now we're actually in the course here. And we can see how we've zero complete. And we're going down here. We got seven lessons, seven videos, an hour's worth of videos. And we're going to go down here. And you can see how we've got seven lessons. Okay, so we're going to go into the first lesson. Look at that. Expand that. And we're going to go ahead and hit that. Introduction in subpart A. Now this is where we go in and we kind of introduce what we're doing here. And so basically what you need to do is just watch the video and take the quiz. So we're going to go ahead and watch this video since this is tells you really what the course is about here. So we're going to start that. This is Paul Hamilton, a longtime Part 103 pilot. I'm going to go over with you what you need to know to be legal as an ultralight pilot. This is not a learn to fly course. I have other courses for that. This course is going to be on how you fly a powered or unpowered ultralight vehicle legally in the national airspace system. This course includes unpowered hang gliders, powered hang gliders, unpowered paraglider, the powered paraglider, and the powered paraglider with wheels. And note that this powered paraglider can also be called a powered parachute. Our unpowered airplane or glider, our airplane ultralight, and we also have an ultralight gyrocopter. Now part 103 is actually a federal regulation for ultralight vehicles. The good news is it's actually pretty short, just one, two pages. But the devil is in the details, and we're going to go over all the details here so you know what's going on, um, especially the airspace, which is the hardest to understand, which we're going to cover in detail. So instead of the paper, what we're going to do is our website up here where we get our current federal regulations. So we're just going to be going through these regulations here for the Part 103. We're going to jump right into this. you got the Code of Federal Regulations. Now, so there's a good introduction as to what we're going to see and what the videos are like here. Okay, so we're going to go back to course. And we can see that we've got all of our lessons here. So we just looked at the introduction, just a, a, a brief introduction here of lesson one. We've got lesson two, uh, operating rules. We've got lesson three regulations introduction then we go into our airspace uncontrolled class g and e we go into our tower controlled airspace we go into our special use airspace we go into other airspace and tfr and for each one of these lessons as an example here we're going to go in we've also got a quiz and this quiz just goes over a uh, number of questions here. We've got like eight questions here. Are there any rules or regulations following flying an ultralight? Ultralights do operate same as typical. No. Ultralights must operate under Federal Regulation Part 103. So we click that. So for each one of these lessons, there's a quiz that goes along with that so that when you get done with this, we make sure that you know the information enough to get an 80% on your quiz to get through that. So basically, that is your course, is your lessons and your quiz, and you get done, and we do our course completion, and you get a certificate. There is your introduction to the 103 Ultralight Regulations Airspace Revealed.